All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mods 9. Guys, uh, one other thing I want to just, actually, I think I want to tell you is I have recently updated all of my computers to Windows 11, and my settings for OBS did get a little lost, so if it sounds a little weird, I'm terribly sorry, uh, but we'll figure it out here soon. Uh, oh, Bendy wants to teleport. Hi! Hello, Bendy. How's going on? Oh, uh, whoa. It's a little turtle! Thank you! <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I can't put a lead on him. Okay, but anyways, I want to go ahead today, and we are... Um, wait, let's grab a uh, lead. I almost said a leash. We'll get a fence post. We, we will attach him here. Come here. Flink. There we go. Feel free to name it Turtle's Turtle. I like it. <laughs> All right, so today, sorry for the the uh, not telling you guys what we want to do, but I want to eventually get into the RF Tools Builder to start getting some resources. Now, in order to do that, we need to make a lot more power, and I want to get into the reactors today. Um, and to do that, we need uranite. So I actually did go a, uh, mining just a little bit. We got just under a stack of raw uranite. Oops. Um, and yeah, you can smelt this down. Um, the only way to double it is to put it into an energizing orb. So I want to go ahead and do that. Um, we're missing this guy. I'm always missing those guys. All right, energizing orb. Uses, we need some of these guys. And yeah, we're missing. Okay, good. We can make four of those. And I need to make four of these. We've got quite a few people on today. It's popping on the server, which is so much fun. Okay, so I want to make the power cables. Um, where are they at? Here they are. Because I don't actually know if you can use other cables from what I've seen. Um, here we go. 48 of them. That was, uh, that was quite a bit. Okay, 24. These do two, 2,000 FE per tick. That's awesome. Um, I think I actually have a spare energy cell. Yes. I combined this for these guys. So they're all, they're all getting the mo power, baby. Okay, so dimensional cell we can put here, out on all sides. I should really use a shovel for this, you know what I mean? Just a shovely shovel. Okay, well. You know, sometimes doing things in a way that looks good isn't always the best way. Is this case, is this a case for that? No, don't tell yourself that. Always make it look good if you can. That's what I say. Are you feeling with power? I don't feel confident in that this is even working. Oh, it is. Good. Very good. Okay. So I want to go ahead and get, see, there, in all the other, all the mods, there's been a factory hopper. Oh, mmm, mmm, boy. Mm, energy hopper, liquid hopper. I mean, ah, shoot. An impulse hopper. Mm. Okay, so I've got a theory here. I think we'll be able to make this work. It, oh, wait, I, I need one more hopper. Um, Actually, let's make, let's get two hoppers. Do I have any hoppers in here? I've got one. Can I make, oh, it's really weird. When you know, when you don't click on AE2, like if I type something, T, 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 Y, 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 U, 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 and I type here, like I click, it still puts stuff in there. That's annoying. Sorry, a little bit of frustration. I actually need one. Well, well, well this will be fine for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to control this hopper here. This is my theory. Because we don't have the factory hopper and the ease of access, we can lock this hopper. And we'll get a, a drawer. Or we even just get a chest real quick. Um, we don't need a big chest for this. So here, and we put the raw uranite in. Now, because it's locked, it's not gonna really do anything. But what we can do is take a timer from RF Tools and place it like this. And every, let's give it like 60 ticks. It should go on and theoretically deactivate this. Let's see. Okay, we may need a repeater. Okay, here we go. Okay, it looks like we're going to need to make it a pulse extender. Jeepers the Pete. All right, so Create has a pulse extender. Whoops, 
and I went ahead and made some brass. It's super simple. You just kind of smack copper dust down and some zinc dust, combine it, and then smelt it. Uh, and then you can combine it with a hammer and you get yourself a brass plate. Um, so what I want to go ahead and do is make this pulse extender and see if that is actually what we need here. So get rid of this guy. Put this here. Did that work? I didn't. I wasn't paying attention, Frank. Oh, it did. It did work. Okay. How about if we just leave it? It doesn't go in. Okay. So what we need to do is set it up so that... Um, wait a second. Ender IO. We might be able to... Ender IO has a filter, right? For the... The pipes need some redstone, which is just silicone and a redstone. Jeez. Oh, no, I've got silicone. Don't do that. Yeah, we're running dangerously low on redstone here. Okay, so we combine these together, and we get this redstone alloy ingot. Okay, so we've got the four that we need for the filter here. So let's see about using some Ender IO pipes. Um, see, that's really annoying. It's fluid conduit, Ender fluid conduit. Item conduit. Ah. All right, there we go. So convert that here. Need the conduit binder and boom shakalaka. Look at that. Got lots of cable. Okay, so let's see if we can make this work. Uh, we need another chest. We'll use a gold oak chest for this. So simply just putting it here and like this, not like that. We should be able. So this is extract filter. Um, hmm. Okay, so I think it's working. Uh, unfortunately, we can only set up one thing to filter out here. So we may end up switching over to pipes eventually just because it can do more. Um, but yeah, this is this is cool. We have essentially semi-automated the, the usage of processing uranite, which is awesome. Yeah, it's working really good. Awesome. Okay, so we've got enough uranite here to start what we need to do for today. So what we need to do is we're getting into power reactors and we need to automate a few things. Um, for one, we need to automate uranite. And the best way to do that is with uranite essence, which we get from uranite seeds. And these actually do have a chance to drop uh, uranite seeds, which is cool. Um, but yeah, we're definitely going to be putting them on the Insanium farmland if we can. Uh, so we need those. We also need uh, some redstone. We definitely need to be able to produce that automatically. So we need some redstone seeds. We also need some coal. Um, let's see, where are the coal seeds at? Um, yep, those go in. It helps. It's for the carbon on the, the reactors. And then we need some ice. Now, I actually went to a ice biome and we found a bunch of packed ice, some... Uh, normal ice and even some blue ice which is really good and what you do is you take this blue ice and you combine it together in the energizing orb and this gives us dry ice and this is the best cooling method for the reactors from power uh, so we need to automate ice here and the best way to do that is ice seeds and that's why i ran to the forest just kidding uh, but yeah ice seeds super easy to make so we'll start off with those um because we don't need to craft any crazy amounts of seeds but we do have a fair bit amount of essence here thirteen thousand. um would be more but for some reason the uh loaded chunks haven't been working properly um the chunk loaded ones so okay so here and then we need the prosperity seeds. And I do have some prosperity shards in my backpack here from when I was mining. Um, uses, we need the seeds. There we go, good. All right, so there we go. We're making some ice seeds, perfect. And I stopped it, I went too early. And there we go, ice seeds, perfection. Good, so ice is good. It's funny, these are all in order. So now we gotta go to coal seeds, which is gonna require the second tier essence, which is simple for us to make we just go like this there we go we got a full stack and we got the ice and the prosperity seeds so good three four and one oh no nope. we were about to make see did i not grab any coal oh wait i have coal seeds and a lot of them okay i feel dumb we didn't need to make those okay sorry sorry about that everyone um the cool thing is I have the magnet on me, so I can just take these Inferium Essence with me inside. So let's just click really fast on the mouse. Two fingers. Okay, that 
should be enough. Yeah, we're getting we're getting frame drops by just looking down. So we know we got enough. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Cool beans. So make some of these. We don't need these in our inventory for the time being. Um, you can go in here. Uh, we have the ice seeds. It might not be a bad idea to actually make some more ice seeds. Um, now that I think about it. All right. And we'll do that for now. So we need some redstone. We are dangerously low. So we are actually gonna make two redstone seeds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool. So we'll make this guy up. Um, and yeah, I'll go ahead and throw a second one on there. When it, once it's done, booyah. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. And booyah. Coolio. So now we have redstone seeds, uh, ice seeds, and all of the, the seeds. So what I'm gonna do is grab quite a bit more of this. Okay, we grabbed all of it. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna take this and make the tier two much as we can. All right, that's all the tier one. Now we have 2,360 of these guys. So, yep, that went away. And then we're gonna make the tier four stuff and then tier five. Good. Um, I also actually wanna make a couple of these guys. So here we go, one in here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect, making uranite seeds. There we go, make another one. All right. Whoops. All right, and so now we have five total uranite seeds, which is amazing. So, um, yeah, I guess now we need to get the botany pots set up. Uh, I don't have any botany pots crafted. Hopper botany pots, we're missing the hoppers. There we go. Oh, I'm out of iron. <laughs> Okay, so we've got quite a few warp drawers, uh, the two by twos. I made a bunch of Supremium farmland. I know I said I would do um, the Insanium, but we need our uh, supply of Inferium to kind of build back up. So what we're gonna be doing here, actually, I made a lot of drawers for no reason. Let's see here. Um, hmm, we need the Ender IO conduit. Yeah, item conduit, and we need the crafter oh we're out of iron shoot oh no okay now equipped with the proper amount of iron uh we should be good to go uh, oh we need uh there we go perfect okay crafter tier one crafter tier what what is going on huh i guess you can only make the tier ones like from what I understand. Okay, each of them holds three. So, I mean, we only need two, but that's just a, a little inconvenient jeepers. So, I want to go ahead and put them kind of on this back wall over here. Uh, you know, like this is going to wrap around. Um, our reactor will probably go into this wall on both sides. We may have a couple of them. So, the reactor will go here like so. This will be cool. I've been wondering what I wanted to do with this this wall here, and this is definitely what I want to do. So we'll mine all of this, and I think, okay, we want these actually not to go into warp drawers, but just into some chests. They don't have to be like large chests either. Um, just a simple chest. Oh, that was all of our warped wood. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. Hmm, okay. So what we'll probably do is have this come back by one on each side. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because I want these to be five across. Wait, what? Um, did I build one of these incorrectly? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. So this one has... Oh, that had me worried for a second. So th this here needs to go like this. Oh, okay. Ooh, I thought I had built one side completely wrong. Okay, so we'll just have four. Um, and then 
I'll say while these are in here, so they're doing their thing. We're gonna have, ah, geez, I need to go back to the nether, get more warped wood. We need to have these two by two, or sorry, a one by two, not a two by two. Actually, wait a second, I need to think this through. Okay, so I'm thinking in order for me to best figure out how to do this, um, I need to get a reactor in place. Um, so we're just gonna make one of the starter ones. I think I'd like to have four reactors total. Um, okay, so we need more of you. Oh, we need more of you. Need some lava buckets. This is turning into a whole thing, isn't it? Yep, I stepped in the lava in the nether on accident. <laughs> What are you gonna do, huh? Hopefully not die. Okay, yeah, I'm doing fine. Good, okay, so power reactor, here you are. I'm just gonna do that so I don't have to worry about it anymore. Okay, so, oh my word. Okay, so we need, Alexa, what is 36 divided by four? I'm having a brain fart. 36 divided by four is nine. We need nine of these. I made six, seven, nine. Good, okay. Now we need some of the, oh, that redstone, that is something we are out of. This is why we have the redstone seeds, but we don't have any redstone, ah, jeez. Okay, so small mining session later. I did find some diamonds, but we also found a lot of redstone, which is good. I still feel so cheaty being able to fortune redstone at this point, it's crazy. Um, what, are we full? Oh no, wait, no we're not, weird. We're out of iron again. That's main of my existence. Oh my gosh, we had a lot of those. Okay, so there we go. We have ourselves a reactor. We definitely need to work on some storage upgrades. I'll I'll put some more 4Ks in there off camera. No big deal. Okay, so I want this thing to be one set back like this. Okay, so it's kind of framed in like that. Um, I don't want this here. I want these. Actually, now these should be the brick. And this guy should be the smooth. Okay, so we'll turn this into the smooth. Yeah, I'm liking that, good. Okay, and then what we can do is bring this across. Get rid of this guy. And then we can have like another one on top of it. Cool. So this is actually how I'm liking it. Um, I'm going to lock all of these in. Um, I need to grab the seeds. We just need to start producing the seeds here. Um, I know it's funny. We already have coal seeds set up, but we just need more. We need some specifically for this setup here. So we're gonna just kind of do these in the opposite order that we have them. Um, okay, so all of these are gonna be coal seeds. All right, and all of these are gonna be ice seeds. I can go ahead and make some more of those, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and lock those in. And then behind, maybe we have a different color block because everything is so dark. And eventually we're gonna swap out those botany pots for a different color, potentially a green color. Um, so let's see what will go good because it's going to be red eventually i think a red colored block back there is going to look the best we need like a solid red block red wool isn't a bad idea uh let me see what i can find okay so i went and found some red mushrooms because i believe this oops this botanist workshop thing you can put this in yeah i wanted to see how this looked I think this is gonna look really good. This is gonna be a little like accent piece behind each of these. Oh man, I really like this block. Okay, well you can't see crap. Um <laughs> ay, ay, ay. okay. Um so what we can do is set up the crafters here and all four resources here. So we can put them, kind of lock them in like this. And then say right here, we could start the second one. Oh, like that. Yeah, I think I think I like the look of that. Um, yeah. So all of our resources, we'll be able to just see at a quick glance. Hey, this is what we got. We got to get some good lighting in here because I can't I can't tell if I like it or not. Um, and then we'll take this 
beam all the way up. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. You know, we got some tuff down here that we need to replace. And then we'll put some path whatever right there. But yeah, that's looking f awesome. So we got ice being produced. Um, hmm, I just thought about it. We're only going to be able... Well, I mean, we can put packed ice. We can... Okay, so the ice is going to have its own separate crafter from everything else just to worry about the ice because I don't think we can actually make the tier two yet because it'd be great because we could just do a tier three for everything. But we got to do the most difficult path possible things. Anywho, that's looking good. But let's get the stuff rolling. We need to get everything connected up with item conduits. Um, this is going to be tricky. Okay, I want to see how these look here real quick. I was thinking maybe we could put these like this. Dang, yeah, that gives us some good lighting on those. I like that. Oh, what the? What? Okay, does it have to be these? Where did you come from? Weird, okay. <laughs> they just didn't want to do that, I guess. Yes, um, these are actually working pretty good. And then the cool thing about this, we could actually like hide some right here. So from here, you can't see anything. Very cool. And then I also have some simple light bulbs. How do these look? They just look like that. Okay, that's not too bad. Nope, that doesn't look right. Nope. I think if you do this, yeah, you can make it a top one. That's something maybe we line the top and the bottom with them but i like them they they are a little pricey when it comes to glowstone but they'll they'll get the job done all right so we got to pipe these guys into the back here i should sleep okay so check this out i think i found a cool way to filter the items that we are taking from the system so i essentially set up a secondary drawer here that's only going to be filtered to the different essences so we don't have to worry about filtering every single one what we're going to do is limit to what can actually be put into our crafters so if we do it like this my theory is that we won't have like all of the the, the filters right so we filter it on the import instead of on the export. So there we go. So these are the only items that's, the, the drawer's locked. These are the only items that can be taken out of the, the stuffs. Okay, and so we should be able to just run it like this. Now I do have to go through set all of these to extract um, which isn't the easiest of tasks in the world but here we go okay so they've all been set to extract and yep already we're seeing these guys come in everything else should be staying um well <laughs> i guess i need to lock all of these and the cool thing is i know that locking them now means that no items can go in but once they do produce an item i can simply come on I can simply just take it out of here. So I'll fill all of these with the farmland so we can just throw the seeds in when we have them. Good. Cool, cool. All right. So now what we do is we take here, always active, and we insert like so. Okay. And so we're inserting on green on the back. Yep, there we are. We're seeing those guys. Good. Oh, geez, these only have two. That makes everything more difficult. Well, I mean, now it's evenly split between them. So we just needed a two by one drawer. Something like this. So we're out of Okay, it's actually not the end of the world as it felt. Okay, so we break it here and we have one here and one here. Um, we'll say, well, I need to turn never active. Okay, so you, and you, and you, and you will go here. Hmm. Okay, lock and lock this. Hmm. Okay, so we're set it, we set this to insert on that side, and 
and we can set this to insert on this side as well. And I'm just gonna, I guess, well, it's not gonna pull out because the essence is stuck. Okay, so those have all been set. We should see 24 uranium here. Yep, 24 and nine. Okay, so this is actually working. It's just a little, a lot a bit more tedious. <sighs> okay, so you, these also need power as well, but that that's actually pretty easy. So nope, we don't want that. These are extracting and then inserting and taking out onto red which is always active. Okay, oh, here we go. We're gonna be inserting on red, and for now we won't be extracting. Eventually we will be probably extracting on uh, blue. And then we, oop, then we connect this up here, and this is a no-go, this is a no-go, but here we can insert onto blue. And so anything that goes into here will be, boom, boom, okay always active always active so now this should have um, oh we need to change the color of this we'll do cyan and then inserting on cyan that way because this is all connected in all of these are going to be put in there and so we'll extract here on light gray and then we'll insert on light gray for that so those two should only be things in there and then yeah see that was that's part of the issue Oops, come on. Okay, so we should no longer see anything but the uranite and redstone essence in here. We can remember those. So at least they have somewhere to go. Okay, those. And then uses, turn it into ice, packed ice. And then click here, uses, turn it into coal, apply, right? And then click here, uses, turn it into uranite. And then click here, uses, turn it into redstone. Good, so as soon as those have power, this guy will actually start firing up. Um, so these are on their own circuit. These are on their own circuit. The exportation is on its own circuit. The cool thing is all I have to do is set this up on the other side very similarly uh actually the, identically like keeping on green because green is to put into here i don't know eventually we'll worry about the the packed ice i mean we'd have to put one more here and then like a whole ice circuit before we get here uh, which i mean we could uh, it's just one more channel uh, and another crafter so but we'll, we'll worry about that later let's let's get some pow over here um I'm actually gonna steal this guy for now. And we need some energy conduit. Hopefully that's enough. No, I think I actually just made some more. Okay. So here we go. Um, actually, I want this to be in a spot where it doesn't connect to the item pipe, which right there should be fine. So, oops, like that. Okay, so these should be on. Are we not? Ah, power needs to be inserted. Let's try lime, see if that's the problem. So we got it extracting and inserting. Well, that would be extracting, but no power is getting to these guys. And this is set out on all sides. None, maybe out now. Hmm. Do I need to set up a pipe going into it? Cause it can't take the power out. Is that what's going on? Oh shoot, I need my pipe wrench too, wherever I put it. Okay, do these guys even link up at all? I don't think, let's just see. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. It's just not taking the power out for some reason. If I do this, yep, it gets power. Hmm. That is confusing, but it does mean that our system is working now. Um, okay, that's set. Good. I want to lock these in. Okay, so now if I lock, unlock it, yep, the uranite goes in, the redstone goes in, perfect. All right, and so now the only thing we have to do is to tell this to take the items out and put them into here. So we got the packed ice going in, very good. That's giving us negative eight. We got the coal going in. We got uranite going in, very good. Oh, shoot, we need a bucket of water. Um, I always forget. There we go. Now this should be producing a decent amount of power. Yeah, 140 FE per tick. Obviously, we have to upgrade this guy, but nice. We we have upgraded our system here. We can do that for now. Maybe we'll put stairs there or something. But yeah, we have 100% uh, automated 
the this production. So uh, I'm just going to duplicate it over on this side. You know, get some more uranite seeds, um, get some more coal seeds, get some more redstone seeds and ice seeds. And once this is full, maybe we start it over again so we can have even more. So we'll have eight of actually eight or yeah eight sixteen we'll have sixteen seeds filling on one side then we'll copy this on the other side as well uh but anyways ladies and gentlemen that's gonna wrap up the episode for today thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to hit the like button guys and as always don't forget to subscribe but this has been super turtle and i'll see you in the next episode take care peace out Bye bye <laughs>